Okay, I wanted to give a quick overview of my plans for this grow room build. So, uh, this is the corner of my closet, or one wall of my closet. I got uh, one of the standard wire shelves here, and one of the standard wire shelves here. This is the corner right here. So I'm going to take a piece of plywood, get it cut to length, uh, and sit it directly on top of both those shelves. And then right here, I'm going to have installed a little bracket to hold up this corner. So that'll form the top of the grow area. On the front of it, I'm going to have some mylar curtains. And then also all along the walls, I'm going to attach some mylar here, here, and here. At the very bottom, I'm going to take a piece of the same plywood and make a little baseboard about four inches high. So that'll form kind of a basin along the bottom. And then in that basin, I'm going to attach uh, some kind of tarp or waterproof barrier so that uh, I can catch any kind of water or spills that I have going on here. And then the shelf that's here and here will provide great area to hang uh, lights, the uh, air filter and that kind of thing. Um, and then I should be able to open and close this Mylar curtain pretty easily. So hopefully this all works. And uh, all right, let's get to it and see how it goes. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see how much it all cost and hear my thoughts after using it for a couple of weeks. Okay, so I just got back from the hardware store. I got one, um, I think four by eight plywood piece cut into um, all the pieces, all the different sizes I wanted, which is pretty nice. I was able to get just one piece cut down to what was needed. I also got some hardware somewhere in here to help me attach and anchor things. Um, and so I'm gonna get going on fitting all this in there. Got the plywood in. It was such a tight fit that I had to um, cut out around these guys here was too lazy and did not cut out around all of those. So I might just have to shove something in there or maybe that'll be my intake vent. We'll see how that goes. Next step is gonna be getting a bracket here because otherwise, too floppy. Okay, got this bracket here installed um, and I installed this front um, baseboard here so that I have something all around to mount the waterproof liner. I'm gonna cut this mylar um, in three and a half foot strips to hang from the top of the plywood down to the baseboard. Um, and this is the mylar that I got. I'll have a link in the, in the description, a link for it. It's, it's pretty thick and it has a white back. All right, I have hung the front mylar curtains. I just put uh, Velcro tape all along the front edge of this plywood and of the baseboard, and then put uh, you know the other side of the Velcro right on here. So that way, it's pretty easy for me to open. And if I need to, I can just take them, take them all the way off if I really need to get in there. Uh, I also um, hung up the mylar along the wall there, and I am now going to work. On a solution to get this ground waterproof. So my plan with the liner is to do a fold like this, um, which will basically allow me to make kind of a, a basin to trap the water in. And I bought this stuff at the hardware store. It was listed as two mil. Um, but it's really thin. So I, th I have a uh, old tarp I use for camping that I might use instead. Um, I still gotta think about it. I might just fold this a few times, um, but yeah, I'll, make s I'll think about it and uh, show you what I end up with. Okay, I installed the tarp on the floor to keep everything waterproof. Next is going to be to get the lights and carbon filter and other various sensors and stuff hanging up here. Okay, I got the lights hung. Well, two out of three of them. I got an HLG quantum board and a Meanwell, or sorry, a Mars Hydro SP150. Uh, I'm still waiting. I got a quantum board uh, clone from Alibaba that should be here soon. But I don't need all of them right now anyways. 
uh, and I got that uh, carbon filter hung. Um, not real proud of the job I did, but it's hanging. And I still need to get this vent and do something with that. Uh, but I'll figure that out when the time comes and the smell gets too strong. Okay, everybody, this is my thoughts after working with this grow room for about two weeks. Uh, as you can see, the mylar curtains that I've hung have started to curl on the edges. Uh, they've curled in the middle as well. Um, so I added this magnet that kind of works. It's not very strong. I might do more, make more magnet. This Velcro has been working pretty well. Um, the adhesive has definitely failed. So um, I have these uh, staples as reinforcement. Um, I should probably put some more just to make that stronger. This material definitely gets some, uh, it's really hard to see on this camera, but it gets some permanent wrinkles in it. Uh, so, you know, this stuff won't last forever, but I think it'll hopefully last this whole grow. Let's see, what else? Uh, so I mentioned already the, the doors, and they don't close very well, so I'm thinking it might be a good idea to get a zipper. I think I can just buy a big long zipper uh, and trim this properly, and then connect these with a the zipper instead. And then also I want to go around and do better sealing here. But all of that is not super time critical because uh, I think it's good enough for now. It's definitely keeping things nice and bright on the inside. I had a leak actually with that uh, humidifier and the tarp seemed to catch it all. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, that is my thoughts on my DIY walk-in closet grow room. The total price is gonna be displayed here on the screen. And that is not the price of the equipment I have on the inside, like the lights, the filter, and whatnot. Um, this is just the price of what I would have had to use if I were to buy a tent. So that means the wood, the Velcro, the Mylar, and the tarp. I will soon have a video where I talk about the build out of my recirculating DWC hydroponics system. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for that soon. Um, all right, thanks a lot for watching guys. Cheers.